Jerry D. Gasperi back for your second win of the season, and it couldn't have come at a better time for you. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, it, uh, it was a great night. We needed this. You know, it's getting crunch time and championship run, and we hadn't won in a little while, so it feels good to be back there again. You mentioned it's crunch time. You and Ryan both have experience of what it is to get down to the last handful of races, knowing every point, even down to the heat races, counts. Uh, tonight could have gone a lot worse for you, especially off that initial start when everybody jammed up and you damaged the right front fender there and overcame all that to end up with the win. Yeah, we. Uh, I honestly thought we were going to finish fourth. Um, and that would have been fine because that's, no one was moving and it was single file freight train racing at that point. So the lead is wrecked and we had a restart. We had a great restart, so I'll take a win anytime. Did you, were you able to see what happened between Bernard and uh, no, the show? All I saw was the sparks, the car spinning, and just worried about making it through there because they pretty much had the track locked. When you mentioned it's getting single file like that and you have two guys racing hard, it, do you feel it's kind of good to just be away from, from them running that hard at the front knowing that they could tangle? No, I'd rather be up there racing with them because you always want to be racing for the lead, but they started up front and they broke free and they were having their own little race and then Tyler, myself, and Ryan were having our own little race. I've asked Ryan before which one he's trying to focus on as, as the season winds down. Uh, you've won three consecutive championships. He's going for three consecutive. Like knowing that that's a, a benchmark your team wants to hit. Oh, it's, it's a great benchmark. I, when I won my first championship, Dick Hooligan told me the first ones are hard, but it's always hard to repeat. And then we went for two, and then we went for three, then we missed, and then we went for four. And you know, like I said tonight, in victory lane. The wins are harder to get. Never mind the championships. So obviously, that's your overall goal is you know to accumulate as many wins as you can and win a championship. Who are some of the people most sparks you want to thank for, for another victory? Oh my crew obviously they're the ones that put the tireless amount of hours and effort into it. All my sponsors, every one of them I got great sponsors from my father's business here with custom auto money to uh, I'm sorry I'm tongue tied Spumoni's restaurant, above grade excavation, quality rental, simple sign works. They were all just, I couldn't do it on them all. I've been keeping tabs on the wins so far, and Ryan actually, it, coming into tonight, was one win away from tying you all time, and you just raised the bend bar one more. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's you always, uh, thank you, Kenny Rigo. That's a big thing, I mean, when we passed, uh, who did we pass for it? Rick Anatol, I think, right? That was a big thing for us. And then Ryan's accumulated so many wins in the last two years that I knew he was going to catch up to us. I didn't know where we were, um, but I knew he'd be getting close. I figure he's won 15 or 16 in the last two years, so that's just a number, though. I'd rather win championships than races. Knowing you win a lot of races and you have that number one status in all-time wins, how much goes into that? Because when you get championships, it, you can still say you're, you're number one at the end of the day for, for all-time wins. We it? want to be number one in everything. Okay. I mean, I'd love to, uh, when it's over, be the number one winner in this division, the most amount of championships, uh, the most consi consistent driver. Uh, you know, I want to be at all. That's what we strive for. Strive for excellence. We don't come here unless we think we can win. I mean, if you come to the racetrack, I'm the kid, don't think you're going to shot at winning. You should stay home. And you mentioned that the consistency and how hard the wins are to come by. It's frustrating to not win as many races as a past season, but knowing how tight the championship is, you're logging top fives every single week. I mean, that's going to be... We had nine seconds going into tonight this year. You know, we've had, this has been one of our best seasons ever. The problem is our nine seconds, he's got nine wins. So no matter how you cut it, you get more points for wins than seconds. So that's, that's where we've been. We've been consistent, we've been great. You know, we've got nine seconds, obviously not all to him, but to numerous people in the division. And yeah, this was one of our lowest totals of the year for wins going into tonight. We've had our seasons when we've won five, five races in back-to-back -back seasons and 
three and four races at a time, so it's going to be a perfect time to get on a roll right now.